When creating templates in ACT Marketing Automation, you have considerable control over the overall appearance. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Settings tab in the template design to change some global settings for your template. Let's take a look at this right now. So log into your ACT database and then go to Marketing Automation. And from here, we'll click Email Templates. Now, I've already created a new template called Monthly Newsletter, but I haven't designed it yet. So I'm going to click that to open it. And now you can see from the design, there's really nothing here yet. So to begin my design, I'm going to click the Settings tab on the very right. Let's take a look at each of these options. The Content Area Width lets you define the width of your template. Remember, though, that many people have monitors that can't display higher resolutions without adding a cumbersome horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen. And so for this reason, I usually recommend setting the content width to about 600 pixels. Below that, we have the background color. This is going to set the color that appears behind your template. And that means if their monitors are wider than 600 pixels, this is the color that will show up outside that area width. Just to show what this might look like, I'm going to pick sort of a tan color. That's pretty good. And now immediately below that, we have content area background color. This changes the background color for everything inside that 600 pixel area width. I'm going to make this white. So you can see now that I have white on the inside and a tan color on the outside of that area width. And one other thing to keep in mind though is you can always choose the checkerboard which will set that area as transparent, meaning everything behind it will show through. The default font will just let you choose the font face for your entire template. There are a few selections here, but these have to comply with common web browser font types. So I'll change mine to Tahoma. And then link color lets you choose what color that your link text will be for your entire template. I'll keep mine with the standard blue link color for now. Remember, when you're on the settings tab, each of these settings will be applied to the whole template. However, you can override each of these by changing properties found for the individual rows or content areas of each row. In the next video, I'm going to continue on with this template and begin building its structure.